Welcome to DIY RV and Home Campers Life. My name's Greg. Thought I'd give you a quick update on our RV electrical system upgrade that we are doing. This is our board that we're going to be placing in the front of the trailer in the basement or the front storage compartment. Once installed, it's going to be a little bit harder to showcase it and explain to you what I've done. So I thought I'd do it right now. So we're going to start from the left and work to the right. So on the left hand side here, I've got a fuse block, which is an auxiliary fuse block, which is going to uh, supply power to a couple USB outlets that I'm going to be placing up near the bed in our trailer. Also, it's going to be powering our shunt, our battery monitor uh, for the trailer that we were installing also. Plus, I have three additional uh, spots available. And it is uh, has the option of actually expanding if need be. So there is some room underneath it right here. Next, the trailer was originally equipped with a 30 amp automatic resetting breaker. So I've got two of those in place and we will work uh, the original wires over to these and then I will label them and identify what they are. Up top, I've got a 50 amp breaker, which is a resettable right here to operate the trailer along with the auxiliary fuse block. That is the mains for the 12 volt positive system going to the trailer. Moving over, we now have the 300 amp resettable breaker for the inverter. Now this one comes in and goes straight to the inverter so I can disconnect power and if I have an overage, it can trip at 300 amps. If I follow that back on down, I'm gonna to come to my catastrophic fuse that I've got inside here. Uh, right now I am also going to be adding one at batteries when I get an opportunity so that one is right here and we will bring the mains from the battery positive to this point this blue tape right here represents where all of my wires coming and going are going to be coming out of so that's why I've got these in line right here this is my main negative uh, bus bar that I've got so anything auxiliary uh, fused over here will come back over to mains negative this one right here is uh, grounding the inverter frame ground right here so this one will be going down to the frame and attaching uh, with a bolt to the frame itself and then we run this block right over here to our shunt for the battery monitor system now all negatives have to run through this shunt for it to properly read so that is why i've got this bus bar here built in right here along with the negative for the inverter and then this will again come down here uh, this wire right here will be tidied up and it will be uh, locked in place um, after i start getting all the other stuff that i'm going to be running because i've got uh, this one right here, I believe, is going to be for my uh, distribution panel in the back for the 12 volt. I'm not exactly sure what that one is, but I had two of them, so I installed two of them. I will figure that out. I will have it labeled. Blue tape here is because I still got to put some uh, bolts here to uh, secure the inverter. This area right here is going to be for future expansion. Uh, a solar uh, controller uh, got to already one installed I'll probably be relocating that one here when I upgrade that one and I will have actually two means of uh, charging by solar so I'll be able to use the solar prep that's on the side of the trailer along with the ones I installed on the roof some of the modifications I had to do to the components that I have right here I had to trim the edges of these protection blocks so that my cable would fit properly that was not that big of a deal just to trim with a knife this block right here that holds the shunt in place you see I had to trim it down on both sides that would allow me to adjust the angle of how I want to bring in the, the wires right here I apologize for the cat uh, right here there was a little uh, tab that was actually holding the shunt in place but anytime you wanted to do anything 
if you had to lift this lift this up to get to this uh, wire right here for one re reason or another you had to disconnect everything and then take the screws off to get to it so I removed that I drilled a hole and I put a piece of plastic there secured 100% on my catastrophic fuse you can see I've got a little notch because I got it on an angle it's not coming straight in now for this I am going to take a dab of silicone and put it in a couple places because it, it can easily come off I don't want it 100% secure where you have to fight to get it off but I want it there so it is just doesn't vibrate off on the buses went ahead and notched the end out so I could have it with the wire coming like, like that designed better than trying to feed it another way coming up here same thing with this one with the positive then on my resettable breakers I did trim this web away in the center to allow uh, me to lay out my wires the way they are one thing when you're doing that be very careful if you are attaching these breakers to a metal substrate or anything like that with screws uh, the potential there of actually shortened to that screw to the body is, is there so if you're doing something like that be very very cautious either put it to a board uh, non-conductive material or something this is non-conductive so I'm not worrying about it so there's that I believe that is the entire oh also right here I'm gonna put a little dab of silicone because this one can fall off easy this one is pretty good it's a six uh, six way fuse block I'm gonna have three of them filled three of them will be empty and I have spares uh, for spare uh, fuses right there and again this is expandable so if in the future I do do a lot more stuff or needed uh, more uh, um, components up front I've got a place to work off of so anyways that's just a quick overview of the board that I'm gonna be putting in I'm getting really close to getting ready to install uh, one of the next things to do is prep the battery and uh, rerun the wire set the wires up on that other than that folks let me know what you think you got any comments uh, concerns um, ideas thoughts something I could do better before I put this in please let me know in the comments below um, and as always uh, if you like the video please hit the like button subscribe share and until the next video you guys have a wonderful day